Rumors are flying around that the founder of Uber may be the head of Tesla's robot taxis. That's absolutely insane, and I don't even know where this rumor came from. I heard it yesterday, and it's all over X, and it's just absolutely crazy if it's true. And we'll find out if it's true by the end of this video because Elon Musk did reply to this. It was, you know, there's never a dull moment for Tesla, even on a flipping Sunday, you know, on a weekend. It's absolutely insane, and I flippin' love it. So smash that like button, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get down to this juicy rumor, and let's see what's going on. So I didn't even know this rumor even existed until one of you guys commented on my video, one of my videos on YouTube, by the username of PM7123. Shout out to you for, you know, letting me know, saying that it's rumored that the former CEO of Uber, Travis Kalanick, will be introduced on 88 as the new head of the robot taxi division. I read this and I'm just like, oh, 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 what? That's absolutely crazy. So I took that and I put it on X and I said, if this rumor becomes true, then Tesla stock would easily surpass 400 after 88. Easily. The fact that you have the founder of Uber, all of a sudden the head of the robot taxi fleet, now you can scale it because the like, dude's done it, right? The, the, the dude, Uber is what it is because of him today, right? He made the damn thing. So having him the head of the robot taxi fleet and all you gotta do is just scale, it's GG, it's game over. But then that post went viral and then I got a whole bunch of comments going on on that. And then shout out to Natural Science and History, he comments and he said this on July 2nd and this is where it started because it was his prediction. He said that the RoboCab event on 88 on Tesla, his prediction is that Elon will present Travis Kalanick as the leader of the Tesla Ride Hill network. And that's where it started. And I'm just like, dude, if this is the case, you know, my formal senses are tingling. Then I sat down, I'm like, hold on a second. Let's put this puzzle together. You know, CEO of Uber sells 50% of his shares. Then Elon Musk follows the founder of Uber. Well, okay, that's interesting. Something, you know, <laughs> okay. Let's not take it out of context, but it's kind of odd for him to sell 50% and then Elon follows the founder of Uber. That's interesting. Then RoboTaxi unveil is pretty much a month away. And now there's rumors that the founder of Uber is rumored to be the head of Tesla's RoboTaxi fleet. Holy jeez, that's going to be absolutely in flip insane. And then Elon Musk comes out and replies finally to get some confirmation saying false. So this is not true. This is not true at all. It's just rumors flying around X and the internet, which everyone's just like, okay, this would be too good to be true if this was the case. Because honestly, guys, here's the thing. If the head of Uber or the founder of Uber becomes the head of the robot taxi fleet of Tesla, it's done, it's over. RIP, Uber, Lyft, all those other guys. This guy has a lot of knowledge and knows how to do it, right? And I don't think Tesla needs him, but if they do have him, I think they'll be ahead quite significantly. But it's not a need, but this would be awesome news for Tesla. But he came out and saying false. He did reply back. He did comment on the post of where I first heard the rumor of this. And he replied by saying, All that matters is improving Tesla self-driving AI such that miles between interventions is much greater than human. I replied back to him saying that I can't wait until the supercharger cluster at Giga Texas to be completed. The progress will be insane. So let's break down what has happened. Elon Musk confirms that he's not going, Travis, you know, Kalanick is not going to be the head of Tesla's Robo Taxi. So he, he falls. He made that clear. Then he also said that all that matters in Robo Taxi and full self driving for Tesla is that miles between interventions is much greater than human which is very important. And shout out to CERN Basher for going into deep analysis with this. Again, his analysis when it comes to the RoboTaxi and the bot, it's top notch. I had him on the channel and I'm gonna, definitely gonna bring him back once we have more data. But this is what he had to say about this. The relentless pursuit of improvement. With this statement, all that matters is improving Tesla's self-driving AI such that miles between interventions is much greater than human. Elon is touching upon two things that are critically important to understand. And this is why I love CERN, because he goes deep in these things. Number one, keep swimming. While building something that has never been built before, you just keep iterating. You keep focused on making it better and better, especially when human lives are at stake. If you have a robot taxi service and your self-driving vehicle has an accident rate of two per million miles and your vehicle fleet is doing 500 million miles per year, then you've got 1,000 accidents with some fatalities. That's not good. And quite honest, that's going to be a lot of headache. And if you are running a robot taxi fleet yourself, there's going to be a lot of lawsuits going on. 
like a lot and your insurance is probably going to be through the roof. So that is probably not enough. That's not good enough. So we need to more. And he continues saying that if you can improve your self-driving system so that your accident rate is 0.2 per million miles, then you've got only 100 accidents at 10x improvement. But what happens if your robot taxi service now scales up to 5 trillion miles per year and your accident rate is 0.2 per million. It yields 1,000 accidents. That's too many. The lawyers will be too busy. <laughs> and he's right on the money there. That's still a lot of accidents and still not good. And if you want to go through actual statistics, per 100 million miles driven, there's about 1.33 deaths. So if you do 5 trillion, this still is a lot more. So that's not good. That's really, you got to bring the system a whole lot you know, make it more safer and better and bring the accident rates a whole lot lower. And he does say this in the next paragraph or in the next sentence by saying, you will need to drive down the accident rates to 0.2 per million miles, a hundred times improvement. Now the number of accidents down to a hundred per year. At this rate, there will be something like a 4% chance of you ever being in a vehicle accident over your entire life versus 75% today, which is practically safe. That's crazy. Like if these statistics are right, and I do think he did say that he did make some of these numbers up, but if 75% today is, if that's correct, the fact that you're going to get into an accident, and that's, a, and that's a big rate. Like I've been into accidents and I've been driving for 12 years now. I've been in, in, in actually five, six accidents, right? One was my fault. <laughs> the other was, it was other people hitting me. So the fact that you can bring this down to a 4% for your entire life, this is a big, big deal. And then he continues by saying that, now do you see why Tesla needs to build out more and more AI compute? They need to keep swimming. The race is never over. Even a 4% chance of, let's say you ever being in a vehicle accident because you're in a robot taxi, you still gotta bring that down to a 1% or below that, even though that's incredible but you still gotta keep going down and you need more AI compute. And you guys already seen, or if you guys haven't seen, having a super cluster, super computer cluster, so they can store all this AI. I think it's mainly because of the robot taxi and some of the bots, but mainly of the robot taxi. So the, as he said, the race is never over and he's completely right. Second, if such a continuous improvement in technology is advanced, then the lowest cost and the safest form of transportation becomes robot taxi and the stock price takes care of itself. That's facts. Again, even at 4% for your entire lifetime, not in a given year, your entire lifetime compared to 75%, that's, that's hand over fist, right? And if you, if, if, you do, if you want to talk about the cost, how the cost is so much cheaper to have a robo-taxi, to be in a robo-taxi rather than getting a car or taking an Uber, if Uber's going to exist until then, and taxi. So that is a sheesh flippant moment what's going on here with these ai computes and this is why guys i'm going all into tesla stock there's just you know with this robo taxi and all these things you know you look at waymo and all the other guys they're just light years behind and tesla's light years ahead some interesting stats that i want to go over with you guys is that in the united states alone there's about forty-three thousand fatal crashes in a year which is a lot right compared to what it was 50 years ago it's much less but it's still a lot and the thing is what's crazy is that we you know, are okay with this right now, right? I, I, in my opinion, 10 years, 20 years time, when we got the robot tactics on the road, we're going to look back today and go like, whoa, I can't believe we were okay with this. But here's an interesting fact. Only less than 1% of that turns out to be an actual fatal car crash. Now, if you bring this into robot taxi, 43,000 deaths is with regular cars driving. When robot taxi goes on the mass scale and is everywhere and it's much safer, this 43,000 will prob probably be below 400. And if you want to take less than 1% chance of that, that's less than four people, three people. And the crazy part is that number is still going to continue to go lower and lower as the thing improves and other people get robot taxis and all that kind of stuff and self-driving thing becomes the norm. So the future is looking great. The future is looking flipping fantastic when it comes to vehicle transportation and it looks like fatalities and deaths are going to get less and less and less as we keep going in the future when you have AI driving. So that is flipping awesome. And the fact that we are going to look back and look at these stats today, then, and go like, can't believe we allowed this thing, which is absolutely crazy. And the great thing, the cool thing about the RoboTaxi is that it's about to be started. Like we have the event, Tesla's going to, you know, have this RoboTaxi event in a month time. And so if you guys are confused about how to value this RoboTaxi, man, watch this video right here with CERN and I, it's just... Pfft. It'll hurt your brain, but it'll show you it'll show you the opportunity. We are entering an age of abundance, and we're not even talking about the bot. 
just a robot taxi. Check it out, guys. Hit subscribe. Get your merch. And I shall see you guys in the next video. See ya.